Hey, if you're looking for a video where we discuss using the trapezoid rule formula, and we tie it into the basics of just figuring out the area by setting up trapezoids individually, this is the video for you. But hey, before you begin, if you'd like a copy of this, I'll put a link in the description. You can download it on your own so you can follow along. So if that's something you're able to do, go ahead and pause the video and get that started right now. All right, <clears throat> let's get into this. We're going to find this shaded area right here. This shaded area is bound by the formula, right? Negative x plus 4 squared plus 4. And uh, it's going to go from negative 2 or negative 6. That would be right here to negative 2. Right? Those are the boundaries. <clears throat> a couple things you have to understand about this formula. Let's, let's see if we can demystify this a little bit because it looks really ugly, but it's actually not too bad. So here's the deal. Those y's, those are just the outputs. And what this formula is, is if you wrote out the sum of all the trapezoids that you're going to make and you simplified it before you plugged any numbers in, you'd get this. There's other variations of the formula, but they all do the exact same thing. Like sometimes they say f of x, 0, or like right here would be f of x, sub 1, oops, sub 1, or whatever, but it's all, boy, that's really ugly, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it's all the same thing. What, what you're doing is the thing you maybe don't understand, but you need to understand, is every point on a graph is, of course, an x and a y. Here's the deal. That's the input. So what that means is if you take that number, whatever that number is, which is this value right ever, right there, whatever that number is, if you plug it in and do the math, right, do the math to this thing right here, the answer, the output, is that number right there. That's what these are asking for. So let's do it. It says we're going to break this into four equal parts, right? So that's not too bad. Those are going to be the integers, right? So if you break this apart into four equal parts, we get a distance of one for each time. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> draw that on here. So negative five. Oh, that's really not very close, is it? <laughs> so <clears throat> that'd be negative four. Negative five is going to be somewhere over there. Negative three is somewhere over there. And so this is what we're looking at, right? The visual it looks something like this. And so what we're looking for are the beginning, right there, the end, which is over here, and all of these y's in between. Now, h is b minus a divided by n. So let's go ahead and set all that up right here. I'm going to go ahead on the paper. I've got some room to do some work, but because we're using the document camera, you can't see the whole thing. I'm going to do the work over here, okay? So h is b minus a. So b minus a is going to be uh, negative 2 minus negative 6 over n. n is 4, right? So the reason I know n is 4 is it says right here, number of intervals. So negative 2 minus negative 6. So that's 4 over 4, which is good old-fashioned number 1. So h is 1, so that's kind of easy. So what we're going to have is we're going to have 1 half parentheses. Now we have y0 and yn, right? So that means when I plug in the first y and I plug in the last, or sorry, the plug in the first x, plug in the last x. So the first x is negative 6, right? So I already know, because it's on the x-axis, I already know that that is 0, and I know that this is 0. So, so uh, this is 0, and that's 0, right? Here's what we're saying. We're saying f of negative 6 is equal to 0. We're saying f of negative 2 is equal to 0. And the reason I know that is because that's where they cross. So 0 and 0. So I'm not even going <clears> to <throat> write that part. I guess I will. That's 0. Okay. Plus 2. Now we have to figure out what are all these things right here, right? Well, if that's, if that's uh, x0 and that's xn, the very last one, this is x1 x2, and x to the n minus 1, right? Or x to the x sub 3. So we have to figure out those y values. So to figure out y1, because this is x1, y1 right here, to figure out y1, you just plug in x1. So I'm going to do that right here. So negative, so negative 5 plus 4 squared plus 4, right? So negative <clears throat> one, negative 5 minus, sorry, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, negative 1 squared positive 1. Positive 1 times negative. So that's 3. That right there is 3. So this is 3. 
All right, plugging it in. Y2, I already know that the coordinate right here is negative 4, 4. That's the vertex, negative 4, 4. Now let's say you didn't know that. <clears throat> Same deal. Take that, plug it in, right? Plug it into this thing right here. We'll go ahead and scooch this paper a little bit. So here's our formula. So we're going to have negative 4 plus 4 squared plus 4, right? So that's 0, right? 0 squared is 0. Negative 0 is just 0. It's equal to 4. So plus 4. <clears throat> now we have one more. What happens? What's y when x is negative 3? So let's go ahead and do that down here. So negative, negative 3 plus 4 squared plus 4, right? So 1 squared, right? Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So that is 3 again. Right? So that's 3. There we go. So we got to figure this out right here. So we have 1 half. Let's see. That's 10 in here, right? That's 10. Because 6 plus 4 is 10 times 2 is 20. The approximation using the trapezoid rule with 4 interval intervals is 10. The more intervals you have, the closer it gets to the actual value. But... Yeah, that's it right there. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know. Leave me a comment. If you have a question, leave me a comment. If this is helpful, hey, please, please subscribe. It helps us keep going. Now, one other thing. Let's just review real quick. Let's just talk about a couple key concepts. First thing you're doing with all of these Ys is you're finding the points on the curve. right? To find the Y, you figure out the X, plug it into the equation, gives you the output and then all you gotta do just take your time write it out be careful and you're good to go you guys have a wonderful day